Welcome everyone to this video tutorial and um, I would like to show you today how to install RStudio on uh, Ubuntu, especially in the version 11.10 as a 64-bit distribution and this is uh, for newbies and beginners totally so if you are advanced user just yeah skip this video thank you what we will start with is a total new this um, installation of Ubuntu so if you are a new new user just stick with me here we are uh, this is the Ubuntu desktop and as you may already know there you have the Ubuntu software center which um, gives you the opportunity to install some new uh, software and if you would like to use R you can easily or you can try to find it here by searching for R which is um, more or less complicated because there are a lot of R's in all software packages so you have to f search for R base there you can see it there's R base GNU R a system for statistics computing or statistic computing and graphics so um, you can see some um, informations here and you can easily press on or you you should just press on install which will activate the uh, downloading uh, the download for from uh, our base the installation and after finishing that installation you could already start using our without our studio but let me show you how to how uh, this will go so we'll open the terminal and um, I have already installed R in this case so stick with me one more time um, we will just by pressing R isn't enough so it is per case R and there we go now this is the um, this is the input section for R and as you can see it's very minimalistic so it's just a terminal and you can easily um, create your vectors you can easily create also some uh, plots with that so we will just go with that plot a sequence from 1 to 1000 by 2.3 and as you can see there's a graphic window you, you have all the all uh, the elements of a plot so this is a very very minimalistic uh, thing so we will quit now here for using our studio on this no we don't want to save the workspace and we will um, also quit the terminal or we exit the terminal so what we'll do is we need our studio or we would like to use our studio so just open Firefox or a browser of your choice search for our studio uh, you, you can also go to rstudio.org. This is the uh, this is the homepage from RStudio. You should press and download RStudio, download RStudio Desktop because you don't want to use the server version for it. As I am using the 64-bit version of Ubuntu, uh, I was uh, using that link. Just download it. It should be found in your download section in the home folder so there it is and you should open it with the Ubuntu software center so this is a little bit um, um, not complex but um, you cannot find it in the Ubuntu software center but you can install it with the Ubuntu software center so you should use that um, it is already installed in my system so just press on install with the Ubuntu software center um, the Ubuntu Software Center will open, it will show the package and it will present you an, an, an install button. So press on that. Uh, if you will be asked about shall I, uh, shall I trust the source and something like that, just press OK. You can trust the RStudio software guys. Um, then RStudio should be installed. If RStudio throws you some kind of error, it is probably because of the case that you haven't installed R prior. So we will try to open RStudio. 
there we are this is the front end of our studio it should be uh, it should look like this in first case so here is the old terminal now in white um, this is a terminal but our studio has a lot of uh, advantages um, so you have the uh, a section called history over here or maybe you it will start with workspace so if you're creating some kind of um, vector like y is a sequence once again 1000 by 2.3 so there are a lot of steps and we will start with one go up to 1000 by 2 by an interval of 2.4 uh, you can see it here in the workspace section there's also a history section so if we are trying to make something like or we have a lot of um, we have a lot of um, if we had a lot of inputs you can easily create something like a script from that by pressing on to source or you can easily select certain comments that was a word and you can send them to the console once again uh, and then there's a third window over here where you have your files which is the working directory you are you are in so if if you're so, um, asking yourself what is the working directory you can easily use the command um, get working directory which is get wd and there you can see it it's home slash regal in my case so you can um, or you should create for your uh, for your work another working directory mine is called wd underscore r so uh, i'm in now and i can um, set this as a working directory so you should do that um due to yeah some kind of security and uh, to overview your current work then you have the plot section over here so when I'm using plot y, oh, there is no, no, it's written in uppercase. Um, the plot is shown here in this window, but there will be, um, or there, there's just a possibility to show one plot. So we will remove that one. Then you have this packages section where you can easily um, activate packages you would like to use so if you're interested in using some commands from the mask package just just click um, or just activate it and you can also install packages by yes uh, by pressing on install packages then you have to choose your mirror which is some kind of server um, that you should use one that is near to you so maybe here Italy and then you can search for um, for your current or for for the package uh, package you will need, and um, you can also check for updates. So if your packages are up to date, and there's the help section where you can search for something like maybe the plot function, and to get an overview of the comments and the structure of the command. So this is it for today. We will now close our studio. We would like to quit our um, no, we are not interested in saving the workspace image. And you won't be asked to save uh, the history, the, which you can save in the history sections. So, thank you very much for watching. I will come up later with some more R Studio and statistics and R videos. Um, I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have any questions, comments, or something like that, just uh, throw me a line. Thank you very much for watching.